Give me a dog tag. Okay, so not having it in the game, Caviar Studios. You know when I'm playing Battlefield Three, snatching of dog tags. I didn't get that many dog tags this this uh this match. I know it, it sucks. It's uh, it's uh, hit or miss. But I did run up on some campers and some guys that were like glitching. Did you do you ever get in contact with uh, a person that's like halfway through the wall and they're camping? Here's my first victim right here. Tag. Give me the dog tag. I take your dog tag and I throw it. I toss it. I don't even need it. I just want to send you through that embarrassment of having it ripped from your body and you watching it right before you die. I want that to be the last thing that you that you see is me tearing that dog tag and like bending it in half and, and flicking it away from wherever, you know, a kind of hardcore. Anyway, I have some stuff to talk about about Battlefield. Very important. For all you Battlefield fans, let me click out of that. I was on YouTube the other day just cruising around, and they have like five and ten hour videos, and they are some of the craziest things that you've ever seen. But anyway, Battlefield Premium. This is from a reliable source. Now, I don't know how reliable the reliable source is, but this thing was reported today, and it, like, it caught like wildfire, and it was like all over the place. But anyway... Battlefield Premium. So you got Call to Leap and you got Battlefield Premium. Anyway, it's going to cost $60. $60. Dice and EA, obviously, they didn't see my last video when I talked about the so called rumored Battlefield Premium service. Shame on you, EA and Dice, for not watching my videos. The hell is wrong with you? My videos are entertaining as hell. Anyway, according to to many numerous reports there will be a battlefield premium service and it will cost sixty dollars and i know you're out there you're like damn sixty dollars that's how i was i was like huh, no way uh-uh i thought cod elite was a lot of money but check me out now check me out check me out from the report that i read from gamesters.com the premium service is set to make its debut at e3 in june and it is rumored to include access to a mysterious fifth DLC expansion called Aftermath. I'm not talking about Aftermath, Dr. Dre, his uh, his record label. That's not the Aftermath. I'm pretty sure that's not what they're talking about. Although it would be kind of crazy if they had like Dr. Dre beats in, you know, never mind. What I'm talking about is look at, look, just listen to what they give you for $60. 20 maps, 20 new weapons, 10 plus new vehicles. Four plus new game modes, 30 plus assignments, 20 plus dog tags. Also includes premium benefits, which are made up of skins, camos, and most importantly, early access to all downloadable content because people in the gaming community are not patient. I hate the fact that Xbox 360 gets more, I mean, yeah, Call of Duty maps before we do a month, a whole month. Anyway. Let me switch back to my game to make sure I got enough time. Uh, I have to periodically check back and forth. I guess I could do this thing. Hold on. I got. I have Windows 7. I'm going to do this half Windows thing. Boom. Uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, these maps, weapons, vehicles, game modes, assignments, and dog tags are spread across the following DLC. Uh, back to Car... Car... What is that? Carkin? <laughs> I thought it was Karkland. This whole time I'm thinking it's Kark. Maybe, I don't know. This says Karkand. Anyway, back to Karkand. Close quarters uh, battles, which is coming out next month. Armored kill is supposed to be coming out in autumn. I I'll say fall. I don't like the word. I don't like autumn. That, that doesn't sound right. Fall 2012. Aftermath in late 2012. And the DLC called Endgame in spring 2013. Which sounds uh, absolutely unbelievably amazing. But the time frame that they're going to release, it seems kind of weird. End, uh, what, spring of 2013? That's like a year from now. I wonder how, um, wow, that's crazy. I wonder how they're going to keep this game going strong through that whole time. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's it. Battlefield Premium, it, it sound, it, it's expensive. It's like buying the game twice. Some of the things that could make this better is if you don't have to buy it for both ps3 and xbox 360 maybe they're not that greedy to where you have to do it 
where you have to buy a service for both systems but just looking at the price and looking at what you're getting it seems like it's going to be worth the money i mean 20 maps 20 new weapons uh more than 10 vehicles more than more than four game modes so it's probably gonna be five i don't understand why they would put four plus game modes but it might really just say more than five new game modes anyway um 30 plus assignments 20 dog tags um let me see i don't really care about my dog tag personally but i love taking other people's dog tags so the aspect of being able to consume 20 more than 20 new dog tags that instantly excited me i was like Ooh, <laughs> dog tags anyway Give premium benefits skins camos and most importantly early access to all downloadable content seems amazing seems pretty awesome battlefield is looking like it's gonna i mean you know they i did they already knew what they had to go up against they were like look cotter league they got this they, this is what they're doing look we're gonna have to come out and we're gonna have to uh put their nose in the ground and really show them wh who's boss it's like when your dog poops in the house they always say put his nose in the poop you gotta to let him know that what he did was wrong i guess this is ea and dice's way of putting activisions and and uh the, the makers of cod putting their nose in the poop they grabbed him by the back of the neck and, and put their nose in the poop and say look we we're coming for you you, you your nose is in poop because we put it there I, I don't know exactly how that metaphor would work between gaming companies but you see what i'm saying maybe you don't this right here is my favorite kill of this match i wanted it more he had to go he had to go i wasn't gonna die somebody one of us had to die and it wasn't me i reloaded i laid down so i could try to hide out and get some health boom dead that's just how it is in this game i should have picked a better hiding spot i guess maybe i should have went back to being a medic anyway this match is over we won let me know if you're getting the downloadable content and let me know if you think that price is fair and are you excited for all this new shenanigans that's going on with battlefield i'm not having it in the game caviar studios and i'm out